Hey, hi everyone. This is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about the licensing requirement for setting up audio conferencing in Office 365. So let's get started. So to set up audio conferencing in Office 365, we basically need a Office 365 audio conferencing add-on license. So this particular license can be bought as a standalone add-on or it is included in Office 365 E5 license. So if you have an E5 enterprise license, it already includes an audio conferencing license so you don't have to purchase a new add-on for it. But other than that, if you have any other subscription, be it Enterprise E1, Enterprise E3, Office 365, Business Standard, Business Basic, any other licenses, uh, you will have to get the audio conferencing add-on for audio conferencing to work. So uh, you can get it from the admin center. You can go to admin center and uh, let me just show you that as well. So you can basically purchase the audio conferencing add on if it is not included in your license or if it is not a E5 license, uh, you can just simply go here in the admin center, click on billing and go to purchase services and then you can search it here on this search bar not on the top search bar do it here and search for audio conferencing and it should be around five dollar if i'm not wrong so once you get that subscription you can go back to users active users and assign it to the user whom you want to have that particular feature it may take around 24 hours for it to provision to check that uh, whether the audio conferencing is turned on for that particular account or not uh, you can check it under users section so you can go here under users and here you can see the audio conferencing uh, you can see the status uh, I don't have audio conferencing turned on right now so I see it off but once you have it you will see it turned on and it will state that your audio conferencing for that user account has been provisioned and once you go ahead and try to create a new teams meeting and you can just go to the teams calendar um, and try to create a new meeting once you create a new meeting uh, you will see that particular uh, a particular number basically a toll number by default which is set it up for audio conferencing uh, you will see a toll number in the invite plus the link to join the meeting as well. So that means that you have audio conferencing uh, up and running. So now uh, basically by default we get toll number assigned to the meeting. But uh, if you don't want a toll number to be assigned in the meeting, the difference between the toll number and a toll free number. So the toll numbers are the one on which the participants when called into the meeting using that particular number are charged as per their calling plan. But when you have a toll free number, the participants who are joining the meeting, they won't be getting charged. But for setting up toll free number, you will have to get credits. This basically is called as a communication credit. You put an amount to it and you have few few other things in that as well. Once you set it up, get that license, assign it to that particular account. Then whenever the user schedules a meeting uh, with a toll free number, any participants who dial into that meeting will not be charged. But the communication credits which has been purchased by that user will get consumed. So basically a toll number is the one where the users or the participants pays and a toll free number is a number where the company pays for the participant. So if you want a toll free number you will need communication credits. So to get it you will have to go to the same place purchase services and search for communication credits and you will get 
an option to enter the amount or basically the funds which you want to give to that user so now we have audio conferencing setup plus we have communication credits for that user as well and now we want a toll free number to be in the meeting invite other than the toll number which was already there as default so for that uh, we'll have to go back to the team's admin center once here uh, you can go to voice phone numbers and we will basically try to acquire a phone number which is a toll number so you'll have to go here add give it a name a description and select the country let me select us and the number type so uh, basically it would be a dedicated conference bridge toll free number and this was the number which was already assigned to the meeting by default so you will get this number once you have this number uh, you can acquire this i'm not going to do that right now so once you get that uh, it will appear under phone numbers you will see that particular number here in the lists once you select that particular toll free number it will give you an option to assign it to the bridge once you do that it will take around 24 hours for it to provision once provision it will appear under the meeting invite uh, you can also assign the number to the communication bridge uh, from the legacy portal as well so you can just go to the legacy portal so once you are in the legacy portal uh, you can basically go to audio conferencing and then you can go to Microsoft Bridge settings and uh, I am not seeing it here because it is not provisioned for my tenant but you will see an option to assign the number if not you can just go here to voice and you will see that particular toll free number here as well uh, you can just click on that number and a window will open to the right and then you can click on assign to the conference bridge once you do that uh, after 24 hours it will be there in the new meeting invite which you create from the teams do let me know guys how it goes for you uh, if you have any question please drop it in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe as well till then you guys have a nice day bye bye take care